Welcome back to Wolfenstein 2, The New Colossus. Continuing in the Oz Mercer. <laughs> so, um, what I attempted to do there was look down the iron sights of the silenced pistol to get a very nice, silent, accurate shot on the head of that person. However, since I was dual wielding a pistol with a shotgun, right click doesn't look down the iron sights, it shoots the alternative weapon, the shotgun. There goes my element of surprise. Oh, Jesus. That's actually going pretty well. It's really satisfying when you get like a, just like a rampage going and it works and you don't die. Let's actually try that again. Well, hold on, let's do one fancy thing. Can I hit a moving target? No. Okay, I need to find this commander. I want to just gather supplies, but uh, I gotta get the commander. Are they upstairs or through that hallway? Probably this way? Yeah, they're this way. Man, where do I go from here? Oh. Coming for you, Commander, slithering through the vents. All right, let's gather supplies. Can you imagine how legitimately terrifying it would be to see Blaskowitz with a couple weapons in hand all, like, bloody and somehow disturbingly compressed into a very, very small form, just crawling through a vent of that size, just pops out of it? That'd be horrifying. General Engels e-post to Captain Decker, 12th of August, 1961. Decker, I'll be on the Jimmy Carter, Jimmy Carter show tomorrow. As second in command, you will be in charge of the Osmercer while I'm away. I expect everything to be in order when I get back. I was informed of an incident on Venus. Some terrorists managed to infiltrate the Fuhrer's audition. Luckily, the Fuhrer survived the attack. I suspect we are seeing the death throes of the terrorists, but I expect the Osmercer's security to be on their toes. Wait, I think that just takes me back. Is there somewhere to go here? Something to something to press. Oh, I don't even know where that is. Elite Hans comes to life in new adventure books. Everyone's beloved toy hero Elite Hans will be getting an all-new line of adventure books chronicling the worldwide fight against terrorists and degenerates opposing our glorious fatherland. You can read this if you'd like. Oh, here we go. Gotta enter the Odin Goat. V A L. Hmm. 
Kind of a waste of ammo, but it's fun. Yeah, this would have been perfect. Much further ranging explosions. William, now that the starboard defense system is shut down, you can go back out to the troop deployment hall and climb up the robotic deployment arm. I'm outside the Odin main control center. Lots of activity in this place. Get here as fast as you can. I've got to go, yeah, I've got to go up here. Must be the old main control center. I'm on my way, aren't you? Whoa! Do you see him go flying? I think it was blue. Yeah, blue up a commander. Nice. There's the other one. Oh, Jesus. Six hit points. Sure. Amazing weapon, isn't it? Yes, I haven't used that in forever. Oh, I bet that's going to do great against that huge thing. Let's do it. Wait. Where the hell did it go? Huh. I'm sure it'll bop up again, right? Ah, look at this view. Look at all that, like... Looks like maybe farmland down there. Oh, this is definitely a big set piece.
What the hell did I just do there? That was odd. This is super hard. If it was just those huge robots, I'd probably be okay, but trying to manage this very slow, heavy weapon while also dealing with the occasional trickle of these other normal enemies is very difficult. waiting for the trickle of enemies to come back in. That sounded good. Oh wow. Oh, oh no. Can you feel it, Jenna? You are the old and weak. And this is your day of doom. Oh. Oh no, this thing's out of ammo. There's a recharge station somewhere. It's not like I need it. I don't. I don't need that weapon. Like, I'm sure I could do it other ways. Uh, oh, there is a recharge station though. It's totally worth it. Going for it. Going for it. Where did I put it? Can I go over here? All right, come with me. This music is fucking awesome. Oh no, it's still alive. Shit. That was an awesome fight, I love that. I think I'm gonna keep my little friend with me for a while. Ah, oh, 
Oh, they make it so you can't. All right. That was really a great fight. It's really the addition of the trickle of enemies that, that made it super hard. If it was just the big robots, then it would be a, a more predictable, you know, just run and hide, peek your head off for a second, shoot them, the big ones, and then run and hide and repeat a thousand times. But with that trickle of enemies, you really gotta go back and forth and back and forth and back and forth between big weapons, small weapons, big weapons, small weapons. It's very exciting. Angle to appear on the Jimmy Carver show. I feel like we've already heard that so many times. Uh, you could read that if you'd like. Watch out! Yeah, okay. Wow. <sighs> Darling, I think I'm done with this. <laughs> you okay? I'm fine. It's okay, Sig. You've earned your keep. Now for the rest of y'all. Y'all ready to start a revolution? Crash their TV show appearance. Let's do this on live TV. Camera three, truck left for your wide shot. Stop, Gunther. Stand by. What? Look. Stay on the air. Go do what you have to do, darling. Jesus, it can't be him. God, please don't kill me. Please don't kill me. Peekaboo. Billy. It's fucking terror, Billy, man. Mm-hmm. I'm gonna eat your pie. Give her a hat, Cap. Go out with the darling. Easy. America Easy. needs to see you. Time to go terrorize and terrorize. Feeling it, General? Dome is coming. names ever had on this show the scourge of terrorists everywhere general Engel! yeah yeah all right thank you general angle <laughs> you're too kind this needs to happen up close all right for you caroline i'm gonna say what's on everybody's mind take us through the moment 
you executed Terror Billy. Yeah, tell me about that. What was that like for you? you it must have been so emotional. Well, Jimmy, I remember as I was swinging my saber, I thought to myself, we are safe now. Terror Billy was a terrible threat to everyone's safety. A demon disguised as a man. But I have proven that even a demon will fall before the righteous hammer of the right. Yes, 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 uh huh. There's yes. my cue. What the hell? You're dead! You're fucking I crazy! Suck you Get her back! Oh, I kill fuck you! and sisters of the United States of America. Don't listen to that lying bitch. These Nazi fucks are all gonna get what's coming to them tonight. We are not gonna take it anymore. Do it. Americans. Americans. Wherever you are. I wish I had words of comfort to give you, like the warm winds that this Nazi general sent down from above. But for me, you will not get comfort, only the cold, agonizing truth. And the truth is this great nation has been raped and pillaged by the greatest enemy of our time. They ask you to sell your liberty, to purchase your safety, to kneel to the new order, to submit to the winds of change. But my fellow Americans, they that sow the wind shall reap the whirlwind. You were born in the land of the free. You fought the kings of old and broke them. You gave your lives for the simplest but most essential truth of all. Give me liberty or give me death. Leon Wyatt, in your veins runs the blood of revolutionaries. So tonight, brandish your guns, your knives, and your fists. Seek out your oppressors wherever they are and tell them, we don't want nothing, not a thing from you. Tonight, we show those that sow the wind that we, we are the whirlwind. I like that Horton was in the background just awkwardly trying to play along to Wyatt rambling a bunch of patriotic crap. Feels like a good place to end the game. It's really a defining moment. This character that you've been tormented by and others around you tormented by for so long. And finally, you get to not only kill them, but kill them on live TV and deliver a message of, of revolution telling people to rise up and fight against the Nazis. And also the person who kills Angle is someone who she thought she killed, and I guess she technically did kill, on live TV. It's like perfect kind of poetic justice. <laughs> you didn't really kill me, not for long anyway. And it also feels like at this point in the story we're on the, the cusp of the revolution having the upper hand against the Nazis. I mean, certainly we've done a lot of big things before this point, but I think... 
not even killing Angle, but really just getting the Oz Mercer feels like we probably have the upper hand at this point. I mean, we've blown up a large part of their power structure with the nuke that we set off in Roswell. We've killed a bunch of their uber commanders, although there's still a bunch from left. And we've taken their, their pride and joy, this magnificent machine of death, the Oz Mercer. I feel like between all those things, we might have the upper hand at this point. And then really, killing Angle on live TV was just kind of the frosting on top. The rise up and kill these assholes part of Wyatt's speech resonated with me, but not the appeals to American patriotism. That doesn't work on me. I wish the game was more critical of the hoorah American patriotism kind of jarhead mentality that Blaskowitz and, and Wyatt and others have. There was a little bit of it with Horton, but not enough. Did I do okay? <laughs> Fucking A, Wyatt, you were great. I was nervous, could you tell? <laughs> Shit, yeah. But that's okay. Here we go. You make me strong and weak at the same time. Will you marry me? Oh, William. Overall, I really like the new Colossus. I think I enjoyed it more than the new Order, partially just because I hadn't played this game at all and hadn't seen it played, so it, everything was just much more fresh to me than the new Order was. But also, they really did improve a lot of things. I, I mentioned all the little details throughout, but just the small but significant improvements they made to getting rid of that laser gun and how finicky it was, instead of giving you this huge laser weapon that kind of instantly cuts through stuff and you don't have to micromanage it and switch between the modes of the little laser cutter anymore. They made movement more smooth and fluid. They made it so you can pick up items automatically just by walking over them, which definitely really has this big increase on on how fluid the game feels, not having to constantly mash E on the ground. I still mashed E a lot, don't get me wrong, but at least when you have a huge pile of bodies, and especially when you're in the middle of combat and can't really look down to particularly pick up anything, it's very useful to be able to just kind of run over a pile of bodies and get some armor and ammo and stuff. The weapon upgrade system is way better. It's way better to have upgrade kits that you find that are just generic, and then you get to choose exactly which upgrade for which weapon you want to spend it on, instead of where you have to find the particular upgrade in the level and it's it's a particular upgrade for a particular weapon and if you miss that then I guess you just never ever ever can get that upgrade for the rest of the game like that's just a weird system that's weird uh, generic upgrade is much better it's an utterly gorgeous game it's so good looking and special shout outs to the laser and when it melts metal and stuff that just looked so cool the soundtrack is fantastic I think the soundtrack in the original game was fantastic as well, I just most of the time could barely hear it because for some reason it was buried in the mix, I don't know why. So whatever they've done with this new game, I can actually hear the music and it's really damn good. In terms of the writing, it's definitely up and down, particularly down at the very beginning, the first 30 or 40 minutes is just utterly miserable. And then the whole way too long scene with Hitler was also pretty miserable. So there's definitely some ups and downs. But overall, I thought the story was decent. I liked the part in the game where you kill the Nazi. Yeah, that was a good part. All right, so that is the end of Wolfenstein 2, the new Colossus. When it comes to whether I'm gonna play more of the Wolfenstein series, I'm not exactly sure. So that's the end of the whole batch of like the revival of Wolfenstein, the new order and then the old blood and now the new Colossus. There is another Wolfenstein game that should be released in 2019, so I'll probably be playing that. I know there's some DLC released for this game already, possibly some more to come, I'm not sure. I don't think I'll be playing that though, except for the DLC is not particularly good. So I'm thinking the next Wolfenstein game I'll play is probably the one that comes out in 2019, and I'm also considering maybe playing Return to Castle Wolfenstein. But for now, I'll end it here, so thank you for watching.